I just received a, a, a new product line from uh, TriR, and these are watercolor. And so I'm going to be showing you that's how I lay out on my palette. And I will show you the first two that's when you receive. Um, when you open the cap, there is a piece of paper that's in here. And you need to remove the paper. So when you pull this paper out, you will see that there's a paint that's stuck onto the paper. So to be more efficient, I would recommend you scrape along the side of the tube and then you can replace the cap back. Then now you can proceed to use them. And <clears throat> uh, these tubes are made of PET. And so what happened is the good thing about made from PET is because these tubes, we can squeeze out most of the color. Then at the very tail end, you can actually twist these two until it form almost like a plunger so you can plunge all the color out of this tube so it's very very efficient okay so now i'm going to proceed to um, squeeze out the color and the way that i arrange my palette is like basically it's a complement to each other so what happened is on this side here i will have my blue to green and in here, I would have my brown, red, and the yellow will go to the side here, which I will show you a little bit later on. So right now, I'm going to squeeze out. Uh, this is a phthalo green. And ceridium blue. Finally, this is a pink gray. Now, pink gray that's in TriR, that's actually, I tested out that it's very, very good for Chinese painting. In a minute, I will show you when I mix the color. Okay, this is permanent crimson. Sienna and Aralet Yellow. Now, I left some space here. These are meant to have more color added on to. And I will show you the color chart available from TriR. And you will be able to see there's a lot of color and also the identification is quite good because if you can look at the top here, it would identify as transparent, opaque, semi-opaque, or the paint is more granular. I find that this uh, trial color are very good because they have the technology of grinding the pigment to be the finest pigment in the world. And that would also make the color more brilliant. And for some of the people that like intense color, they will probably love it. Now, I also have something else very, very special that uh, they developed for the watercolor, which is a natural gum and matte medium, which I will demonstrate at a later time um, how to use them. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you that's how does the complement color used in my palette is I will take a bit of serenium blue and you can see from the uh, video that's how good these color are. Okay. Then I'm gonna take a little bit of burnt sienna with the serenium blue mixed together. Okay. Now, when these two mix together, it's a complement. And so here you already can see it started turning more and more gray like. So I'm gonna add just a little bit more. And there you go. I have a gray from mixing serenium blue and burnt sienna. And I'll show you one more, which is I use thalo green with crimson. 
this two will give you the darkest black you can form and you can see from here that it's turning more and more darker now if you added a little bit more water of course it will turn gray and this is how watercolor will work now I will have more video which would I will fill out the rest of the color um, that's if I available to me and also that uh, at a later date that I will demonstrate how to use uh, these paint to paint uh, the tri-art watercolor to paint a uh, painting.